Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Princess Auto's See at Work, where you see some of our fantastic products live in action. Uh, I'm here today, as always, with Mr. Derek Chalmers. Dan. Derek, how are you? I'm Dan Verbal. I didn't introduce myself. I should have, but I didn't. But we're here outside today, outside here at our home office in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and we have got a fantastic project to show you today. This in front of me is the future of cooking. This is the Blackstone 36-inch griddle cooking station. And it is beautiful. It is. It's a work of art. <laughs> I want to get cooking already. I really do. Because this thing, it's, it's massive. What can you tell us about it? Who needs this thing? Well, it's, uh, it can be used anywhere. It can be taken capping. You can use it in your backyard. Um, it's uh, it's a, a grill for all seasons. That's very good. And have you put this thing together before? Well, it's very sturdy. It it's very mobile. Very sturdy, How very heavy mobile. Is it? Um, well, the top's about 55 pounds. Uh, the Roughly. frame, <laughs> approximately. <laughs> yeah. The frame weighs about 20 pounds. It's uh, very simple to put together. Out of the box, maybe no more than 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, and you're cooking. Cool. Well, just a reminder, by the way, just if you're just tuning in now, I'm Dan. This is Derek. We're here at See at Work. This is live. Uh, if you're watching live, if you're not watching live, you're not. But this is See at Work. Please send in any questions you have. I'm following along on Facebook. Uh, we want to know what's going on, what you think and what you want to know about this beautiful Blackstone griddle. So you can put a lot of stuff on here. You can put 72 pieces of bacon on at once. That's right. Can we try that today? No, we don't okay. have 72 pieces well, of bacon. Well, we don't, but we do have some bacon. We do have some bacon. We do have some bacon. So how much heat does this thing throw off? Uh, going? North of 550 degrees. That's pretty hot. That's pretty hot, yep. yeah. Yep. You can blacken uh, shrimp, you can do uh, fish, chicken, uh, anything you'd cook uh, on a grill or in a stove, you can cook on here. How is it heated? Is it it's propane? It's propane powered. This unit has four burners. Okay. Uh, 60,000 BTU at maximum temperature. Uh, and you can adjust each burner to do a level zone for cooking. So you can have low or off on one side and you can have high on the other side. And in between, you can adjust as you need. So 60,000 BTUs, how much does that compare to, to a regular barbecue? Or is that sim like... It, it's similar depending on the, uh, the amount of burners that are the barbecue. Okay. Right? Yep. So if you're someone who likes to grill or smoke, um, what, what's different about the griddle? Well, it's a quick cook. It cooks really, really fast, actually. Um, uh, regular breakfast, uh, pancakes, bacon, eggs, you could do probably in 10 minutes for four people. <laughs> Yep. You will have a restaurant at your house, yep. basically, is what Get you're Get everything saying. ready ahead of time yep. and then cook. You better have yep. people you need to feed because you're going to be cooking That's a lot of food. True. 36 inches of real estate. Um, one thing that Blackstone has uh, that not a lot of other griddles has, a lot of accessories, a lot of different pieces That's right. to really complement the griddle. That's right. Um, and we got some of them here today, so let's just walk through a couple yep, of those. Sure. So what do you got? You got well, the we've griddle scraper? got the griddle scraper, and this is going to come in handy when you're cleaning the grill after you're done cooking. Um, Pre-re-seasoning, if you're doing something like that. Um, it has a uh, steel spatula and a cleaning stone, which is very handy. It will not scratch the top. Uh, it's, a, it's not a non-stick surface. It gets sealed with seasoning, and we'll talk about that when we start to cook. Yeah. Um, we've got a breakfast kit, so it's got a, a batter dropper. Uh, it's got two egg rings, uh, really handy. You can poach eggs on this griddle. Uh, we've got a, a basting lid you can put over top to keep the steam in. Yep. It works really, really well. And we got. We also have the outdoor classic cooking set with more of your standard. That's right. Standard tools yep. that you'd need. And I like this one a lot. The burger, the press and sear. Yeah, that's neat. That is neat. It even has. It has a spice dredge. It's very good. All right. So I think it's. Uh, you know, we've talked a lot about the grill. Um, 720 square inches of, of space to cook. So why don't we we start using some of this space? Let's let's that see it work. Good. Yep. Let's, let's get see this it work. one out of the way. And we've Kay. got one that's already seasoned and ready to go. I'll wheel this out. Sure. Without falling. Maybe. I got it. Okay. Thank I'll you. Bring this one in. Don't forget to send in your questions. Oh, look at this one. This yeah. one's got a nice lid. We've got the hard lid accessory. Okay. So as you mentioned so before, this on. thing's got to be seasoned. It does have it's to like be seasoned. It's like a cast iron pan. Similar to that. Yep, similar to that. We'll just get the burners going here. It's electronic ignition. I can see it from here. It looks great. It looks great. So to season, uh, flax oil is flaxseed oil is recommended. Any oil, canola oil, peanut oil can be used, um, and the process takes about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on um, how many times you're going through the seasoning route. But mm -hmm. basically, what you're doing is you're wiping everything down with a, a damp towel, uh, no soap. You're never going to use soap to clean this off. Um, you get it uh, warmed up, uh, put your oil on, and as it heats, it's going to turn black. So 
block stone, as we were That's discussing. That's why we called the block stone. Right? Perfect, it gets, yeah. the, the more seasoned it gets, the darker it gets. And you're going to go through about two or three procedures of just wiping the uh, excess oil off, letting it heat up again until it starts to smoke. Once the smoke goes away, more oil, and then you repeat that procedure again. And now yeah. what does that seasoning process, is it lock in the flavor? It's well, it seals the, it seals the griddle so it's easy to clean. After you're done cooking, it takes just seconds to clean up. It's, it's very, very fast cleanup. Um, and again, if you had uh, you know, a cover, which are soft covers are offered, we have the hard lid to mm -hmm. protect it from the elements. Uh, it, it's very helpful. It takes I can, a second. I can already feel this thing just yeah, throwing it's getting, some We're going to get heat. it heated up really hot. So we're going to get gonna turn everything here. down just a little bit, depending on what we're cooking. <laughs> like you said, uh, Blackstone, the name comes from after all the seasonings when, when your cooking surface looks like a Blackstone. Now, Blackstone uh, is fairly new to Canada. I've been That's here right. about for about four years. Give or take, yeah. uh, based in Logan, Utah since 2005 and really just a fantastic griddle product. Yeah, it is, it is. Um, I've got some canola oil here. I'm just gonna use this to um, get the grill kind of ready so we uh, have a nice coating. We're gonna start our hash browns first. We're gonna do hash browns, hamburgers, bacon, uh, buns. We've got all that set up. All right, I, another that. thing that, that folks might not realize as, as we're kind of getting into this. So you have the four different areas to cook on. So maybe if you have some family members who are usually inside while you're grilling, and they're doing their other dishes. Now everyone can be outside kind of cooking together. Yep, they have some, uh, some nice accessories with it as well. There is a uh, table surround that goes around the entire uh, sides and back of the unit and gives you uh, more shelf space so you can have all of your cooking utensils and all your product out. And you can have a party, you have everybody around. So it's the very- The cooking surround, that. Very social. So you could show off your, your great skills on the griddle. That's right. And how I'm gonna burn everything I put on there. <laughs> so, but hey, Derek won't, he's a pro. He's a pro. We got a question coming in. Uh, Timmy, PEI wants to know, what kind of oil should you use when cooking? Uh, well, it's, that's up to preference. I did some fried rice uh, last week and I used some sesame oil and some canola oil. Um, whatever you've got handy, whatever you prefer. If you have an allergy to one, you can use another. Um, they're not really specific on what to use to cook. It's more of a preference. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, as I mentioned before, you have tuned in to See at Work. I'm Dan. This is Derek. On today's show, we are featuring the Blackstone 36-inch griddle, and Derek is getting it going. Look at these fantastic hats. Did you make these hash browns? I cut them up just this afternoon. Are these like homegrown potatoes? They are not homegrown They're potatoes. They're not homegrown potatoes. Not potato. at my home. Well, no. Timmy from PEI wouldn't like that. He no, likes homegrown like probably. That. That's true. Should have brought some of those in. Okay, Sandy in Winnipeg has a question. She wants to know, how hard is it to get replacement parts? Quite easy. Um, we can get... Uh, as we burn the top of that the top yeah, of the there we go we need a replacement lid for that it does happen <laughs> <laughs> no it's uh there's there's actually very few uh moving parts to this so yeah replacement parts burners etc easily available okay and then how so the heat in each area can be adjusted it can be adjusted and uh strangely enough if you think you've got one end that's on high and it's it's cooking to 500 degrees the other end you can have turned off and it will keep warm it will not burn you can move uh, you know, cooked vegetables over to one side to keep them warm. You can cover them with a lid and they will not continue to overcook and uh, it's, it's very easy to control the heat. That's good. So, how, so yeah. you said you made fried rice on this the other Fried night? rice, yeah, we did uh, fried rice. Uh, we've done pancakes on this. Bacon cooks very fast. It gets very crisp. Um, have you ever done a full-size pancake? We have not, but well, we should we're, we're going to try that. That could be on the next episode of See It Work. We do more Blackstone stuff. Oh, we have another question. Lots of questions coming in this. James in Strathroy, Ontario wants to know, does the cover come with it? The cover does not come with it. So does there not. is a soft cover available as well as a hard cover. Um, the uh, benefit to the hard cover, obviously for... Uh, here, I, can, I can, let me do, do that. Let sure. me do something here. The benefit to the hard cover is, uh, well, as such, it keeps everything protected. Yeah. Um, the soft cover, uh, it's waterproof. So if it's uh, uh, going to be some rain or some uh, moisture on there. It's it going to keep the griddle seasoned. It's it's uh, very nice to help it protect. If you do leave it out in the uh, open That's, with the yeah. elements, it's going to I'm just going to ask that because I gonna probably, rust. I'm going to forget to put yep. this thing away. Yeah, if water <laughs> sits on it, I mean, it is, you know, a, a, an open pour uh, in the metal. It's going to rust, but it can be cleaned and reseasoned again. It's not hard to do. So I noticed right now you're taking up a lot of the burner space with these uh, yep. these hash browns. We'll get them cooked. We'll move them <laughs> over. It's not a problem. We got a lot of stuff to cook here. We do. It's good. So There's lots of room on this. 720 square inches, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, Jay got another question. Jay in Keswick, Ontario wants to know, can this bad boy be converted to natural gas? Or is this I'm, propane only? I'm not 100% on that, actually. I'd have to find out. All right, we're going to find out for you, James. Jay, not James, Jay. We will find out. 
I feel like I read somewhere that it is not, but I could be wrong. And I'm, I'm very a, often wrong. I'm not. <laughs> so. I'm yeah, not aware. We, you know, it's. I, I think we have enough onion. Just we brought do. seven of them. Well, we've got a lot of people that are anxious to get in on this after. That's true. All right. Well, you know, I just. We're just making this a disaster zone. And another another element that we will be uh, will be kind of showing off later is that with the multiple grill space, a lot of barbecues these days, and you're having folks over to eat. A lot of wind here. A lot of wind here on set today. Yeah. <laughs> when you're having people over, there's a lot of different dietary requirements in today's day and age. That's right. Right. So a lot of times you have your barbecue going, you're doing hamburgers. Someone wants a veggie dog. Someone wants a gluten-free something or other. You got to accommodate for that, and that's actually what this grill can do. Unfortunately, today, well, I mean, we've got it. We've got an area for some vegetarian stuff. We can do veggie on the potato side. Veggie on the that's potato side. Fun. Done. Done. Oh, Stephanie, another Ontario question. Stephanie in Fort Erie, Ontario. Are Blackstone products at all locations? Uh, as of yet, no, but they will be within a few days, is what I'm aware. A couple days, they will be there. So keep checking your local Princess Auto store and go in and pick one up because, yeah, these things are, uh, are going to go quick. Uh, once again, you're tuned into Facebook Live. I'm Dan. This is Derek. When I say Facebook Live, I mean see it work. We're here at the Princess Auto Home Campus in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and we are cooking up breakfast on the Blackstone 36-inch griddle. Yep. And things are going pretty good. Yep. And uh, if you uh, go onto our website, princessauto.com, and type in griddle, you'll see all the accessories and the different options there are available currently. I'm just, this is good. I just yep. got bacon grease all over my phone. That's okay. So that's nice. That'll be good for later. Um, I feel like I need more heat here. Turn it up a little bit. I, just, I cook everything on high heat. I just like just charring things. Because I don't have time. I don't have time You're to wait busy, for man. things to cook You're properly. Busy, man. Yeah, we can't. So you cook pancakes, you cook rice, anything out of the ordinary. Uh, last night, salmon. Salmon? salmon? Yep. That so are you, are you a full-time griddle guy now? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a barbecue at home? Uh, I have a charcoal grill. Okay. Yep. Do you have a smoker? Uh, I have a smoker I'm building currently, yes. Jeez. Yep. What else, what else is there? Once you get the griddle, I think you have the trifecta complete. It, you know what? It, it, it works so fast. There's, there's no waiting for charcoal to heat up. I mean, all things being equal, it's uh, very handy. You know, it's interesting because I, uh, I don't have a barbecue out of my house. Uh, and I'm thinking I should just get a griddle. You probably should. I probably should. And people are asking right now about the price uh, of this particular unit that we got here. It is $499.99. That is the price currently at Princess Auto for this lovely Blackstone grill. We have a What's bacon, this? This is a bacon press. That this is comes, a masonry tool. This, that's not. Yeah, it's for tamping. Okay. We, uh, we have this in the breakfast kit. That makes the bacon nice and flat and right. it gets very crispy if you let it. I like that. If everybody likes that, I know I do. We're taking orders. People from the, the store next door, they're going to smell this and walk over. We're going to have to open a little cafe here. Yeah, you start cooking onions and everybody's over. So this is really good for just singeing the arm. This is a really nice cook. All right, we need to, uh, we need to keep moving along here. What else yep. can we throw on here? Uh, let's put some hamburgers on here. All right. All right, let's put some hamburgers on. Let's I think that's spot here for the veggies. We're just making a mess. Oh, right. question, another question. Adam in Winnipeg, I think I can read this through the grease. Adam in Winnipeg, do the casters swivel and lock? Two of the casters swivel yes, and lock and two are fixed. It's quite easy to navigate because it is very light. It is pretty light. Yep. Um, Timothy wants to know if he can get a longer gas hose. Should be able to get something. <laughs> it's a standard uh, 20 pound POL fitting, so should be pretty easy to source. Should be able to fit that. I think so. Yeah, I guess you, yeah, you could if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to. You could, then you won't have it hooked up there. Well, but. if you have a larger oh. tank, sometimes it's harder to get the larger Here tank. Here it is, up. veggie burger. Veggie Someone burger. has a veggie ordered in. Uh, yep. We are going to put this right, right in here. In Onion Town, USA. That's right. There we go. Done. You really feel like you you are in a restaurant when you're cooking on this. 100%. Thing. Could you you could use this in your garage? 
You could? Yep, yeah, absolutely. You need some fresh air with any propane accessory heaters. Or that was my next question. Yep, heaters yeah. or anything that's going to have a uh, emissions off gas, you have to have some fresh air, but uh, it is very safe to use in the garage. If it starts to rain, it was raining the other day when I did it. I was lucky. I had a little bit of an overhang on the house, but yeah. if it's starting to pour, you can certainly move it into a garage. Yeah. Yep. And you've already, you can't see this, but he has already broken the veggie burger. It so happened we on, apologize. It happened on contact. I'm sorry. On contact. <laughs> All right, more questions coming in. Once again, you're watching See It Work. I'm Dan, this is Derek. We're here at Princess Auto's head office in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, Sean wants to know if the legs fold up for storage. I don't think they do. They actually come folded in the box. Okay, and maybe for storage, do. if you're gonna put it away for a season or for travel, you can stow it uh, by folding them up. It's a very quick procedure to build and a very quick procedure to take down. So very easy to do. Okay, so they do fold. Sean, da, 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 Randy Johnson from Winnipeg. Can you put pots on top of the flat top to cook with? You certainly can. You can yeah. uh, cook spaghetti, you can boil water, you can, uh, with a shallow uh, pan or a pot, you can deep fry on the top of one of these things. Yeah. It's a very, very high heat source you if you let it. You can deep fry on the top of this You thing? can deep fry it. I was told that you could, uh, with a simple aluminum foil pan, you could deep fry with this. It will get that hot. Wow. Oh, hey, the questions are coming in. All right, Neil wants to know how long assembly time is. Depends on how handy. Like for, I mean, for it, me, three, four hours. <laughs> for you, yeah. 10 minutes. You might want to call me. Yeah, I'll call you. <laughs> we'll give you a buzz. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it, it's 10 minutes and you're cooking. Really, yeah. it's that fast. Yeah. Uh, you're going to season it. The seasoning, like I say, probably 25 minutes, maybe a half an hour. You want to let it get really, really cooked into the pores. But once you're done, you're ready to rock in a couple Should minutes. Should you reseason it? And this is going to sound like a tongue twister, but should you reseason it every season? Every season? You could do that. If it's not going to be in use for any length of time, cleaning and reseasoning is a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Dean in Red Deer wants to know if we'll price match if he finds it cheaper somewhere else. That's a really good question. That is a great question. I believe we will. But you'll have to look at the Facebook comments right now and someone will answer that question definitively. Um, Chef Nathan wants to know, what are we cooking? Well, Chef Nathan, we are cooking up some burgers. We're cooking up some hash browns, some onions, one lonely veggie burger, and a lot of bacon. Lots of bacon. Lots of bacon. I think yeah. I saw on the chart, you can cook like almost 100 hot dogs on this thing at I, once. Yeah, I think you've got, uh, oh, there's, like I say, it's 720 square inches, so there's a lot of real estate on here. Yeah, we've still, if we compacted this a little bit oh, more, we could, easily. we got lots I think of room. you can do almost 50 burgers got, at one time. Should we see? We should probably season these burgers with something. Sure. Um, what what flavor do you mixes. want? That's up to you. Cool. Oh, That's your All call. right then. I like. You know what? A whiskey burger. Whiskey burger. Yeah, Let's I like that. the whiskey burger. Again, this is an, this is seasoning right from Blackstone, proprietary to them. Yeah, we're getting that in store next year, I believe. That's right. Next year. <laughs> do you like whiskey burgers? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, I don't know what we're doing here, but we're just gonna. Do you cook a lot, Dan? You know, all the time. Derek, really? All the time. Not, not I a lot. I couldn't tell. Not a lot. You know, sometimes. Uh, my grill situation right now, like I said earlier, not great. Um, we're gonna upgrade probably to one of these units. Um, but yeah, I, I cook, I cook, I try to cook. I try to cook. I get it. But you know, my dietary concerns, it's tough. It's tough some days. All right, this bacon is looking. This is right where I want bacon. I don't know. Do you? Like this is, I think that's done. No. <laughs> People on set shaking their heads saying that's not done. It looks <laughs> raw. Well, guess what? <laughs> guess what? I like it just, just barely cooked. <laughs> How are these burgers package. coming along? They're good. I think we can flip them in a second here. It's nice, even heat. Yep. Um, Colnan in Toronto, where does the grease go? Great question. Yep. As you can see right here, at the front of the grill, we are we are cooking this on. Be the, so this is the back, back of the grill. The back of the grill. As yep. I talked myself through that, I was going to get there. I was going to get there. <laughs> this is the back of the grill. That is where all the grease is going, along with unfortunately a few stray pieces of potato. That's okay. That's why it's there. So we've lost a couple. Now you can get this really hot. You can sear meats, fishes, seafood. Yes. It's uh, very easy to get everything locked in. So we'll move these out of the way and we can put some other ones on. Sure, I'll get some more. Want to put those on? Murray asked the same question. They want to know where the grease goes. Because yeah, yep, if, you didn't, the... if you didn't know, 
you're probably just like, that's a pretty big grease, uh, grease trap. <laughs> yeah, depending on the model, some have a front trap, some of the smaller ones. Oh, do they? Yep. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of stuff, a lot of fixings. We got the cheese. We got the. We're gonna have to put the buns on here too. I think. Yeah, the buns are gonna point. go on at the last uh, last couple seconds and get them nice and toasted. Sandy in Winnipeg wants to know if Blackstone spices are available at all stores now. I don't believe they are Next yet. Next season, we're looking Next to get season. them in for all stores. Next season, they will be in all stores. I'm gonna put a little. And that is the. On. Should we do one side with one kind of seasoning and the other with a different? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's disgusting. People watching this are like, get this man away from the grill right this now. Down. Yeah, get him out of here. Doesn't know what's going on. All right. Now, this, I, I am surprised at how easy it is to control the heat for each specific area. Yeah, so you've, you're, you're a seasoned pro at this, so you've got everything dialed in properly. Yeah, I mean, if you- You're going if, low and slow here on the burgers. If you need a little bit more heat, it, it only takes a second to get the heat back up. Uh, and like I say, if you turn it down, you can adjust and get the, like the onions are cooked, I think, to uh, what everybody's gonna like here. So I'm just gonna push them <laughs> off to the side, get them in uh, some of the corners or it'll be a little bit cooler. So that's a good place to put some of the uh, items that cook a little faster. All right, I'm just searching for one more kind to use here. Cause we did put on some new burgers, taco and fajita, well, almost. Oh, this is good. They've got uh, some very easy to see kind of what you should try it on. So I'm looking here, I'm gonna eat tequila lime. And it says here, yeah, try it on beef. So here we go. Let's go, let's do that. We'll have some tequila lime burgers. Okay. <laughs> Derek, what is, what is your, this is a question. Sure. From one of our fans. Okay. Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite meal to cook on your grill? Uh, I don't know, I like breakfast. Breakfast is really quick, really easy. Uh, my son was very eager to help. He likes to cook, so he got in there and made everybody breakfast. And it, it only took a minute. And it's very, yeah. very safe for somebody who's just starting out cooking. You have a young person home that wants to give you a hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, there's no open flame. Just have to be a little cautious of the pan. But that's all. Is your griddle roughly the same size? Same size. Same this size. Is actually same the one. <laughs> this, is, this is the one we this were using. This is the one. This yep. is yours. I brought this in for mom. Okay. See, this is this is good to know. Well, it's pre-season, so it yeah. was easy to go. Yeah. Because if we did have to season it, we would be here for a very long time. It would be very I'm sure your seasoning procedure. It would be tedious. Is, is, yeah. You would want to make sure that this thing's right dialed in. That's right. Yeah. Are, okay, I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close it to having a quick close. little uh, yep. meal. I'm going to get some buns out. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, if you want to make some room. And we'll get some oil down just before we put the buns on. We'll give the burgers a minute. Okay. The bacon over. Here. Once again, you are watching See at Work. I'm Dan. This is Derek. Uh, we are cooking up some fantastic food today on the Blackstone 36 inch griddle. If you have any questions, fire them in. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Um, one of the question that we got earlier mm -hmm. was can this be converted to natural gas? That's a good question. I'd have and to check And that is a that. great question. And it can, it can be. be. We, we just got we confirmation just got on confirmation. set. It can be converted to natural gas. It's beautiful when things like that work out. That's true. <laughs> That's true. We just got, the, well, how do, just chuck them on? Yep, actually, we, yeah, actually, we'll put a little bit of oil down. How and often do you cook? Never. This is my first time. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. Glad to be here, folks. Glad <laughs> to be here. But yeah, so it can be converted, which is very nice. I know a lot of folks yeah. go that route now. You got a spot like, on the deck. You yeah, can tap close into a your house. Why perfect. not? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Why not? And we, uh, sorry, after, go ahead. I was just going to say, after we're done cooking, clean up on this is it's just seconds a little bit of water in one of the squirt bottles and that's it yep get that's it nice and hot uh, apply the water a few times scrape the that's uh, probably one of my weakest I, cleaning it up like that's what i would be concerned about have you ever left this thing out by accident no 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 because you're a professional and you well, take care of the things you purchase i understand but if you if i forgot it outside and, it, and there was a bit of rust on it how yep. would i treat that you could reseason it it would be the same procedure after a little bit of cleanup to get the uh to get the rust off okay uh the same procedure to get um uh to get it reseasoned to uh, cook again and there's videos on the blackstone website um yeah there's a lot of great content lots of content the, there's on there. lots, lots of, of recipe ideas oh. yeah there you, are you would lots. be amazed at what you can cook on this grill 
All right, we got a couple more questions. Actually, we just got ahead of one. one someone wants to know, Colnad wants to know how easy it was to, to clean the grill. I think we just covered that Very one. Easy. And uh, you know what, it, it does beg us going back. We should show a few, a little bit more of these accessory kits that we have. Um, we are cooking some breakfast items. We're all over the map, actually. Burgers, hash browns. Should have brought just some eggs, but we didn't. So that's yep. okay. But the breakfast kit, this is one of the one of the premier kits here. The batter dispenser. It's got egg rings in it, so you can keep the eggs separate from the rest yep. of the whole situation. Because yep. you don't want... I mean, it's flat, but things yep. could... Well, you can do... Cross. If it's a nice flat setup, if you've got everything nice and level, you can do omelets on here. Um, you can, uh, we poached the eggs actually with the egg rings, put a lid over top of it, a yeah. little bit of water, get some steam going in there, and it cooks in, in seconds. It's very fast. Do we need, no, we don't need to, you know what, we could probably, I was gonna say, could we sear the burgers, but we can, can I just use this? You could, sure. Or would that damage yeah, anything? Nice and heavy. All right, give it a push. There you go. Oh, that's exciting. That's gotta come through on the mics, right? That's, that's a sizzle. Yeah. I just bury some, I want to bury bacon into there. If you squeeze, uh, don't squeeze too hard. You can give it a little bit of a push because you don't want to push the juices out. Well, I definitely pushed all the juice that, out on that first that's gonna one. That's going to be a little dry. That is not my burger. That's for someone else. <laughs> just squeeze them all out. <laughs> that is for the person on the barbecue. You do not want to be there. All right, as we approach the finish line here with, the, with our cooking yeah. extravaganza today, any any other kind of last words anything you you'd say to folks who are thinking about a griddle kind of on the fence about yeah, it yeah if like, you ah. if you've never heard of it and you want something to to take into the backyard or take out to a campsite if you've got a seasonal campsite something like that uh do it you can get small ones large ones um they're very handy very useful tool lots of fun i would love to see the faces of people in a campground when you roll up and you wheel out the black stone and start cooking up food. Well, I know some of the RV manufacturers in the States are actually putting uh, small um, single burner units on some of their uh, outdoor kitchens that they have on the larger mm -hmm. RVs. Uh, it's getting popular, it's gaining traction, so. Mm -hmm. It is an easy way to cook, very convenient, and the results speak for themselves. We're looking forward to, to sharing some of the food that we've cooked with some folks here on set today. Everyone's patiently waiting. Um, but yeah, I think, you know what, are we, are we winding down or what else do we got to cook? Are we done? Uh, put some mushrooms on, they'll only take a second. You know second. what, we need cheese. We need to put some cheese, we mushrooms. Some cheese on? Sure. So we're going to wrap things up here. But once again, this is the Blackstone 36 inch griddle. Uh, find it at Princess Auto. Um, yeah, it is, it is a fantastic unit and it's even teaching me how to cook. Or Derek, maybe Derek is. Maybe he will after this. I don't know. Maybe he never wants to see me again. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. But thank you for tuning in. This has been See at Work. I'm Dan. This is Derek. We'll see you next time.